This, indeed, is a good day for New Brunswick. At first, it looked like a major coup for the Greens at the NDP's expense. It wasn't long, though, before the mass defection began to look a little less massive. As of now, five of the 14 candidates have denied leaving the NDP and denied joining the Greens. But the Greens say that was only because of strong-arm tactics by the New Democrats. Now, we've learned that uh, some of them uh, received phone calls from the federal NDP, uh, pressuring them to back out of it or say they'd never agree. Those candidates say they were backing a merger, not a defection. We were told it was something like a meeting to inform us about forming uh, uh, like a union with the uh, NDP and the Green Party. Joyce Richardson, who did jump ship and tried to persuade others to join her, denies having talked about a merger. Well, it was very clear because we weren't merging. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have told them something that wasn't it. My understanding that they misunderstood me, so I'll leave it at that. She says her decision was driven by the NDP's poor prospects, provincially and federally. We leave because we want a voice in the legislation and we want the voice up in the parliament building. And we don't see it coming out of the NDP, but we have hopes that maybe the Greens will get there and we'll have a voice there. Today, the New Democrats went on offense. Well, I mean, this is a fiasco that the Green Party started. They put out a list of people. Um, they spread some false information. And I think really the question has to go to them. The Green Party leader says Singh should ask himself why his troops are deserting. And in the same time period in which Jagmeet Singh has been leader of the New Democratic Party, I visited New Brunswick three times, and he apparently hasn't been there at all. Neither party comes out of this spat looking good, but it's the NDP with no confirmed candidates in any of New Brunswick's 10 ridings that looks the weakest. Evan Dyer, CBC News, Ottawa.